All right, with that said, everybody, let's get this started. Press any button to start. So we click on story, load game, normal. Oh, 46%. We did have a long stream on Saturday, so we got pretty far. Okay, let's load that. It's not a super long game. If I had to guess, we probably won't finish it this stream. We'll probably finish it in the next stream. And Luca, that's our name. And I think I briefly mentioned it, but we do have this camera that's related to a lot of these rituals and things, and we need it to kind of solve some of the puzzles. Oftentimes, if you don't know how to progress, you probably need to use the camera to kind of solve the next thing they're looking for. Oh yeah, and also it gives you a little hints in the bottom. In normal and hard mode, the photos are unlimited. That's good. Remember that you can discard the ones that are not useful from the inventory. What's kind of cool is like, if you see a puzzle, like a clue, you can actually just take a picture of it and use that to remind yourself later. My gosh, it's so dark. Why is it so dark? Okay, we're in the church. Which time period are we in? I'm not entirely sure. This game also has a very realistic, deliberate speed about it. Let me know if the um, head movements make you guys too nauseous. Nobody complained last time. Oh, we also went into this room right here. And we were talking to a woman in this confessional. But I can't hear her now. Okay, so let me show you real quick. In this room back here... This is what I was talking about with the different time periods. If I take a picture of any of these, 1951, 87, and 2022, it will send me to that time. Um, well, let me see which uh, candles I have. I have the blue one, the green one, the red one. I'm missing the yellow one. Okay, so what we need to do is go look at the clues. There's two rooms where you get the clues as to which candle goes to which picture game makes a lot of noises and once you figure that out that's pretty much the puzzle I'm not sure where I left the yellow handle oh jeez I'm just getting started game I was not prepared for that oh my god why are you gonna kill me or is this just like a jump scare jeez oh, okay I don't know if I'm going to die or not. I'm trying to look at the clues. Can you stop it, game? Stop it! Okay, let's try to read. Oh, no, no, you can't die. <laughs> oh, no. I thought it was just like a random jump scare kind of thing that just it happens from time to time just to scoop, uh, just to scare the crap out of you. No, that was like, you need to run for your life. I had no idea they could get you in this game. <laughs> I know, right, Blitz? It's... It usually takes a lot. I was not expecting it because I've been in that room like a hundred times and nothing like that ever happened. Okay. Let's try this again. Do I still have everything in my inventory? Yeah. <laughs> right, Michael? Okay, that got me pretty good. So we're in 2022 now. You could tell because this is the average 2022 church. But there's really nothing we can do in 2022. Like, I don't think there's any of the... Um, there's like four mazes we need to go through, but they're all blocked off. Everything's pretty much out of order. So let's go to... God, what time was that? I think that was in the 50s. So let's go to 87. We're going to use our camera, take the picture. Now we're in 87. <laughs> you know what's it's that really got me because like we spent probably 45 minutes in this area going back and forth, back and forth. Nothing really bad happened. Georgie doesn't like something. Either. <laughs> Let me mute it real quick. I think Georgie has calmed down. Perfect timing legend. <laughs> the PS legend. 
15 months subscribed to the channel. <laughs> what is going on, Legend? Thank you so much for that sub. Let me drop you guys some tokens. How you been, dude? How was your weekend? What have you been up to? And bits. Put it. <laughs> the sub was enough. The sub was more than enough. Just raining tokens here. How are you doing, Legend? What's new, dude? I probably did coffee. I'm not sure if I left it in the correct spot because you have to match it up with the correct picture, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I did leave it in the yellow maze, which is good, which is good. Wait, why did I win some? Let me drop two more tokens. Oh, you're playing Valorant. How do you like that game? I've never actually played Valorant or Apex Legends or any of like kind of the big new shooters right now, but Valorant looked more interesting to me because it's not like a battle royale, is it? It's more of like a team-based game. Okay, so here's where our clues are that match the colors with the paintings. So this is actually good to take a picture of. The color of. of life, the color of peace, the color of our little angels. Okay, color of life, peace, color of little angels. I think that's gonna be green. Oh, wait, did that just open? Hold on. The color of death. Did that just changed? Okay, so death, wine, Jesus' blood is that picture, which that makes sense. That's an easy one. Okay, I thought that was going to change to green for a second, because that's green up there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. More of a team-based, yeah, um, game like that, which is cool. That's awesome. All right, so can I take a picture of both of those? I don't know if I can get that. I just have to remember angels green, Jesus red. So let's just try to do those two right now, because we already have both of them. Just hope I don't get attacked by that dude in the mask. He kind of reminded me of Silent Hill. Have you guys seen the Silent Hill movie? It's actually not bad for a video game movie. And there was some dude that wore a mask all the time. Okay, so in this time period, there's a red and or yellow and blue. Aren't there two more at the end here? No, I don't think I'd stream a pvp game <laughs> i mean maybe like a one-time thing but not like a consistent thing legend what about this way okay there's the red one and green okay they're all here so let's go red and we want to put the red candle at the painting of christ you also have to fig find your way through the maze as well they're not very big mazes probably just enough to get me lost Try this way. There's actually um, a solution to each maze you can find, but they're pretty simple. As I wander around this one aimlessly. Here we go. Or is this the exit? That's the exit. <laughs> okay, where where is the candle holder? Which way did I not try? This way? I don't think I tried this way. That's like a dead end. There's like one turn I didn't try, isn't there? This game does a really good job with, oh, here we go, with the creepy noises always happening. Okay, so we're in the red room, red candle on Christ. Wait, he's not even here. Does it depend on the time period? Maybe it needs to be in the other time period, because none of these are Christ. Uh, maybe I have to go to the 50s, which is where I got killed, and then use it. I did get an achievement for getting killed, so I guess in a way I'm glad I didn't beat the game without ever getting murdered or attacked. <laughs> That's how I get back there. There's a dead end. Here we go. Here's the exit.
And then it said the color green was angels, right? Color of life. So I think... Let's see if we can put the green candle next to the angels. Let's try this way. Here we go. That was an easy maze. Okay, so this one does have the angels. Okay, I think that's the correct one. So let's go ahead and put the green candle down. The color of the angels. Hey, you get in a, some kind of acknowledgement that you actually did it correctly. That's nice. Okay, good. So let's go to the other time period and put the red one down. It's kind of nice when they give you some acknowledgement, you know, right away when you get something right versus you have to do all four candles and only then will it tell you, yeah, you did something. You could waste all your time and have the first three handles incorrect, you know? The door open. Now I'm a little paranoid. Wait, was there something here? What is this? Oh, this is the solution to the puzzle for the green maze, okay. Oh, coffee. Thank you so much. That definitely saves me some time. Actually, maybe we could try the blue one right now. So the blue one is Mary. Blue was back here, right? Oh, no. Blue was in the front. This side? Yeah, let's try if... We'll see if it's even in this time period. Because they do change the mazes every year. Which, I guess they probably also change the pictures. Which... Darkness do I walk into? This would be really hard to do in VR. I love being spooked, but like VR is a different kind of spooky. It's so dark. I feel like I had a really easy time with these mazes previously. Sometimes you can just follow the light. <laughs> Other times the light just leads you right back where you came from. Gosh, this one in particular is really dark. Uh, is there another hallway? Here we go. Oh, I think that's the exit. Isn't it? Yeah, once you see that, you know you're at the exit. Let's check this way. You can go that way or this way. Let's try this way. I feel like, in real life, I would just be bumping into walls this entire maze. Oh, we found it. Okay, good. So this one should be Mary. Do we have a Mary? There's the father. Nope. Okay, so this, those are both going to be the other time period. And yellow, I think we already put in the correct one. You know, Coffee, I have a feeling the way they programmed this, the clues that you get in one time period only show up in the other time period you know like if you find out what red and green are supposed to be those you're supposed to do in the other time period although that wouldn't make sense because blue should have been here then right no i don't think we have a flash you know what let me double check i'm pretty sure we don't Keyboard and mouse. We got uh, take photos, shake photos, use instant camera, zoom and photo, zoom instant photos, inventory read. Yeah, definitely no camera or flashlight. But good call. Yeah, I, I want to double check that. This is a tricky maze. Oh, there's the exit. So there was no Mary in the blue room here. We checked the red one. There was no Christ. We didn't check yellow. Let's make sure we have yellow in the right spot, if it shows up here. <laughs> I'm holding shift the entire time. This character is always out of breath. This is the easiest of the mazes. So yellow should have been father. Okay, yeah, we, we do have that. Oh, I didn't leave it in here, though. 
Yeah, I don't have the yellow one. Crap. I might have left it in the other time period. In which case, I'll have to remember to bring that back here. Just heard a door open. Does that mean something's happening, or is it just weird random noises? Okay, let's go ahead and change time periods. It's back this way. So we are in 87. We want to go to 51. I don't really want to go to 51. That's where I got chased down by that guy. I wonder how you avoid that. Do I need to go change the time period again? Or is there some place you can hide? Yeah, see all those lights flashing? That makes me think something's bad about to happen. Okay, let's double check yellow and see if I left it here. In which case, we'll want to go return it. Actually, the mazes don't change between time periods. I guess just the pictures do. I didn't put it in here either? Crap, what did I do with the yellow one? I definitely had it. But I'm not sure where I left it. But yeah, see, there's no father painting here, so that definitely changed. Okay, well, we gotta check the other ones anyway to put the correct candles down, so maybe we'll find it. So blue was Mary. Let's go to that one. No, oh, dang it. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't follow me here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. I can't see anything. He pops up in front of you. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Hey, candles. Okay, Mary. There's Mary. Okay, blue is Mary, right? Yes. Blue candle. So the last one we need is red. So we still need to go to red. I wonder if I left it there. Are you done chasing me, you jerk? Who's that supposed to be? Gosh, it's so dark. Oh, there's no other hallway here, is there? Oh, here we go. Just gotta find the exit. Those jolting sound effects are pretty dang effective in this game. There we go. Found the exit. Okay, we're going to go to the red one. Why? What the hell is that noise? Oh, crap. Wait, oh. I thought that was blocking me for a second. I just want to find the red room. <laughs> that was such a funny quote. I remember that one, Michael. <laughs> oh god, that noise. It sounds like it's down this way, doesn't it? Or it sounds like it's in my head. Hmm. Let's go this way. Hey, there we go. Still no yellow candle, but there's the Christ one. So we want to put the red one here. The color of Jesus. So that's three. We just need to find the yellow candle because I put it in the wrong spot and I don't know where I put it. I didn't watch enough of the video to gather that. So where else? Dang it. Where else do I need to go? <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, I found the exit. Good. Oh, did I check this green one? I don't think I checked this green one. In this time period. Stop it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I can't do anything to stop you. Are you done? Thank you. Okay. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. Did I leave it in this time period? I, I really have to check them all off. Okay, so let's just make sure I visit them all. It wasn't in red. It wasn't in green. 
guess I gotta check the other two in this time period. Which which other one did I do this time period? I think I only need to really look down one more maze. Oh God, that sounds like a monster. <laughs> did I do the blue one? I'm not sure if I did the blue one in this one or the other one. Hey, McNugget, how are you doing, dude? I am just about to get murdered. Hope you're doing better. Oh God, stop it. Oh no, is this a dead end? Oh crap, that's a dead end. Okay. Oh, this is the exit. I don't want to go down the exit. I'm trying to find my stupid yellow candle. What did I do with it? Oh, he got me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, how you doing, McNugget? Now I get a time to breathe. Jeez. I wish I knew what I did with that candle. Um, I've checked the yellow maze in both time periods. I think maybe I haven't checked that blue one. Okay, so even if you're running at full speed, that sucker will get you. Um, luckily, the candles are still placed where they need to be, so that's good. Oh, I've been great, McNugget. I'm so excited for some uh, summer vacations coming up, ready for some time off work and whatnot. Hopefully you're not melting where you are. It seems like so much of the world is just on fire. You know what? Did I check all the mazes in this time period? I'm not entirely sure I did. Let's just do all of them, just to be sure. It's tricky when you have to go through two sets of identical mazes and know where you left something. I think by this time I would have, like, learned the mazes, huh? Yeah, it is definitely a confusing game to begin with. We're not really sure what the situation is. We may have killed and butchered and dismembered our entire family, maybe? Our dad was yelling at us in the beginning of the game. I don't know if that was in our mind or what was going on. There's also a big thing about like witchcraft and demonic rituals, and we might be getting sucked into that. And then, oh, we found it. Somebody... Um, basically murdered a bunch of people for a ritual and dumped them down a lake. It is crazy. Hey, Fairy do. how's it going? This game is definitely spooky time. How's it going? How's your weekend? So actually, Michael, those time periods, I think just have to do with this church. At least the rest of the game up to this point didn't have anything to do with those time periods. It seems like we're just dealing with this church because they have these mazes that they alter over time. So it kind of figures into the puzzle. Okay, so I know it's not in the blue portion of the maze. Okay, here's the exit. I just gotta double check them all. I know I checked the yellow. I checked the yellow in both time periods. So let me double check these. Make sure I didn't leave it there. We don't get attacked in this time period. We only seem to get attacked in the 50s, which is good and bad. Um, okay, here's a red side. Oh my gosh, you're moving to New York this week? And you're a wee bit stressed and you hate... Moving's so stressful. You're just uprooting everything, having to deal with lugging it somewhere. Hopefully nothing breaks, nothing gets destroyed in the move. And then just, you know, whole new environment, community, everything's stressful about a move. Um, so did, did one of you guys get a new job out there? What's going on, Fairy Dude? That's super exciting. New York, though, I imagine is extremely expensive. <laughs> It's probably the only place that's up there with California and how expensive it is to live. That's exciting, though. Okay, here's the red side. I do not see any... candles put down, so we didn't put in the red. Let's double-check the blue. Nice. Oh, that's cool. So is anybody like working from home where you can just work every anywhere or are you guys both um, having to get new jobs locally in that area? 
Where the hell's the X? I'm just looking for those ropes. Once you find the ropes, you know you're on your way to the exit. That side's a dead end. Here we go. Okay, we found our way out of red. Let's go to green. I should have put a little GPS tag on that candle. It would have been so much easier to find. I do love to explore a city when I first either move somewhere or am traveling there for fun. That is very true. You know, one of my favorite little trips I've done, which it's not really a city even, it's just a small little island, but I went to Catalina Island once with Andy for one of our anniversaries, and that was super fun to explore because it's so small you can kind of go everywhere just by, uh, on foot. You can also rent go-karts and stuff, not go-karts, but golf carts there, and uh, it's just such a fun, cool little small place to explore though. Okay, so we've checked every single maze. Yeah, double, I'll double check the yellow one, just to be sure. I think we've checked every single maze in this time period, and it just... It's not here. It does not exist. Oh, that's awesome. You both got gaming corner desks from Staples, and you got a legit gaming chair. <laughs> that's great, fairy dude. Nice. Hey, you gotta treat yourself, right? Especially with a big move like that. That'll make you more excited to get there and set everything up. As you can see, I don't even have a chair. I don't have a chair. It's just, I put a green screen cover over it so that uh, you guys don't see it. Okay, yeah, see, it's not in this one either. Okay. So yeah, we've checked every single maze and there's nothing, absolutely nothing. You know, I kind of wish my desk was like maybe another foot longer but I haven't changed it yet. Only because Andy and I actually share this desk sometime. We sit side by side and play games together. There's enough room for that, but it would, would almost be a little bit nicer to spread it out a bit more. Okay, so that is all of 1987. There was no yellow candle anywhere. Let's check 51. Just in case, I'm going to go to the, the bell tower area where you get the clues. Just to make sure the candle isn't like waiting for me someplace strange. I'm pretty sure I left it in one of the mazes. Because I wasn't really sure what I was doing. But they could have put it around here somewhere. No, it's not around here. Okay. Oh crap, do I still have your thing? Okay, yellow is father coffee. Alright. Well, let's check the mazes. Find where the hell I put that thing. go to yellow first. Maybe I actually put it in the yellow maze. I just didn't put it in the correct spot because I didn't understand the puzzle at first. Here's where it's going to go eventually. I did not put it down here. Okay. Three to go. So are you in New York City proper, Fairy Do? I've actually never been to New York. Andy went a long time ago with her mom. Damn it! <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I knew that was coming. Bye-bye. I don't know how to avoid this guy. I don't know if you can, unless you light a candle, maybe? Oh, please don't hurt me. I'm just trying to play with candles. I can't see you. Oh, he got me. <laughs> okay, so we gotta check blue and the other two. We don't have to check yellow in the old one yet. I don't know how you avoid that guy. I guess you could just book it to the camera room, maybe? Maybe if he gets to me in the hallway, I should do that. Just to reset him. So you're in upstate New York, or as they say, the capital region. So, like, is that not too far away? Like, I guess driving or taxi distance from, like, what, Madison Square Garden? Or not Madison Square Garden. What is it called? Um, Central Park, kind of that stuff. 
and fairy dew. Your rent has gone up 125 a month every year for six years for absolutely no reason except the rental properties are legally allowed to in California. Oh, that's ridiculous. So the caps are at 3% and you're scared for New York, which has no rent control. So it could just go to ridiculous. Um, okay, we're in the 50s now. It could just go ridiculously expensive there, huh? And check the safe. Oh, I forgot about a safe. Was there a safe in here? Where was that safe? I vaguely remember we did open a safe somewhere. Forget where that was. Yeah, hopefully Artho doesn't have like a long trip for his work, because even if you're just traveling like 15 miles, which doesn't seem oh here's a safe. Which doesn't seem that long. It could be, you know, an hour and a half commute, depending on uh subways, traffic, all that kind of thing. Okay, let's You dirty mother candle! Left it in the safe the whole time. Coffee, thank you so much. I actually completely forgot about that stupid safe. I don't even know why I put it in there. That doesn't even make sense because like, I knew we were gonna need it for these puzzles. Maybe I was out of inventory room, so I put it there temporarily. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in the 50s that we have to put this thing down, right? I'm pretty sure it's in the 50s. Oh, that's good to hear. You guys are close, nice. That's the only thing that drives me crazy in big cities, is when you're really close. If you're not really close to work, then yeah, you might need to <laughs> find some extra hobbies, because you could be on a commute for a long time. And it makes an 8 hour workday turn into 10 or 12. It sucks. Oh, did you mention it earlier, Coffee? Sorry, I must have missed the message. Thank you again, though. Yeah, if I ever miss a message, I definitely don't do it on purpose. If you could, like, at me, it highlights it in my text chat, just so I know, like, John, focus on this. Okay, so yellow was the father, right? Which is none of these. Oh, it's the other time period. Of course it is. Okay, it was in the 80s. Oh, you know, I've never flown with... There it is. I've never flown with animals, so I'm not sure how well that works or how dangerous it is for the animal. Oh, we got out just in time. <laughs> it's like, stay the hell away from me. He never seems to attack in this time period. Famous last words, right? <laughs> What's funny though, Michael, is I'm like angry at the candle. It's my fault. I put it in there. <laughs> I've just been looking for it this whole stream and couldn't find it. Okay, here's the father. Yellow candle goes right here. Um, yeah, but uh, do you, can you keep the cat with you, like on a carrier fairy do, or do you have to put it in cargo? That I'd always, I was always scared to take dogs and leave them in cargo. The color. Okay. That's all the candles. The bell. Oh, the bell's going off. Let's go check out the bell. It could have been that McNugget, absolutely. Although I think I also ran into a problem with inventory space. You can only hold 10, out, 10 items at a time. So I threw some stuff in there real quick so I can get the other candles and I didn't realize I got rid of a candle. <laughs> the one inventory item I needed. Okay, so the bell tower's over this way. There was one of these hallways, it was locked, so I bet it's open now. No, this one was always unlocked, I think. Yeah, let's see if something changed here. Was that a key on the floor? What is that? Yeah, what does that say? Confessionary. Oh, so now we can access the area where the woman was talking to us. I'm sure that's not going to be creepy. So... In the previous stream, we got to go into a confessional where the priest would usually go, and we heard a woman talking to us, telling us a whole bunch of dark things. So, uh, yeah, now we're probably going to unlock that door and see who's actually in there, if anything. Oh, 
oh good, she'd be with you, fairy dude. That'd make me feel so much safer. Okay, we have to go to the creepy time. So we just need to go straight down this way. Wait, no, confessional. That's right, we want to unlock this. Use the confessionary key. What's behind door number three? Nothing! Now there's something here. Hans Goring? 1851. Why would it have a day on, like, just one date? Not like a, like a cemetery thing. Just one date. One's goring. It's this time period, though. We're in the 50s. Okay. Bye. Oh, that's the locked door. Okay. Can't go that way. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. Let's try to change the year back where he's not chasing us. Oh, I don't think he follows us in here. We're actually in 1951 already. That's the time period we get chased by that guy. Hans Goring, 1951. Do I have anything in my inventory that would help with that? You know what we should do is get rid of some of these. Um... You, you keep some pictures because they're important, but you can discard the useless ones, which right now I've just been taking a lot of pictures of the dates to change it. Let's get rid of all those. Oh yeah, we took pictures of those clues, that's right. Need that. One score, 1951. <laughs> yeah, probably not an address. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, your flight, I'm guessing, is probably, what, four hours? When I fly to Florida, I know that's about five to six hours, so it can't be much more than that. Where else can we look here? Oh, there's a note down here. Bye. You can't come this way. <laughs> there's a force field. Okay, so this thing just says he's here. Hans Goring is here. Oh, what if we close the door on us? Can we do that? Nope, we're too big. Can't close that. So what's the deal over here? There is another locked door here, but I do not have the key for that. Hmm. Yeah, it's only in 51 that we get chased. Oh, that's loud. Of course. Oh, are you still chasing me? Oh, I thought you can't come here. Okay, we went to modern times. This is another place we're generally pretty safe. Okay, if we know Hans Gore 1951, let's see if there's any other clues here. Oh, that's one of the mazes. Lots of trash. And Hasifa, what's up, dude? Long time no see, how you been? Oh, how was the trailer for the new one? I really liked the um, the first Halloween in this new trilogy that they're doing, but I haven't seen the second one. I heard it wasn't as good. Now this is, they're going to kill Mike Myers or end the series for real. For like the fifth time, right? Hey, there's really nothing in this time period to look at. Let's go back here. So now we're in the 80s. It is safe in the 80s. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I can check that out later. Oops. I got turned around.
I wonder if I should take anything out of here. What else did I put in here? There's old cassettes and old photos. I don't think we need that. I could probably leave that there. Hans Gory, 19... Oh, here we go. Madison Hale, 1944 to 1987. Oh, am I supposed to put something here? Wait, what? This is like a something you're supposed to use an item on. Do I take a picture of this? Well, we got a picture of it. Oh, are you still working on Resident Evil 4 VR? I hope that comes to PC. Yeah, I don't have any items I can use on that yet. This would be the exit to the church. Of course, that's locked. Well, at least I don't feel the need to go down the mazes anymore. What's this? I can't look at that. It looks like some church hymns. Hey, spider! How's it going, spider? So we need to pick up the stone? I thought I did pick it up. That was in the other time period. The time period I don't want to go back to. <laughs> What's new, spider? So it looked like you had a lot of fun. Um, where was that at? I saw the pictures of all the DC stuff. That looked really cool. That's in the 50s. And it was right over here. Did I... I didn't interact with it. I just looked at it. Okay, oh, look at this thing. Is that what I'm supposed to keep? Okay, I think I just picked something up. Oh, I didn't do enough coffee. Bye! Have a nice day. I'm going this way. And apparently I'm not even safe in that main area. Oh, that was in Magic Mountain. I need to go there again. It's been so long since I've been to Magic Mountain. Did you go on that new um, Wonder Woman ride, Spider? And if you did, what did you think of it? You've never seen Halloween Fairy Do, if you don't mind scary movies. And it's old and a bit dated, but it's still good. I definitely recommend at least you watch the first one. Okay, so this is probably where I was supposed to use that little key item. I'm not sure exactly what that was. Madison Hill. Oh, because the eye was missing. 1987. That's right. Madison, the name of the game that has to be important. Okay, lights are flickering. That's not good. Oh, is the ride not available yet? I know they were working on it. I can't interact with that thing. I bet something's going to happen with this. Oh, what was that? I feel like I shouldn't walk directly in. No? Still nothing going on with that? Okay. Put that down. What else might change? There was that locked door. Forget which time period that's in. I wonder if that was mysteriously unlocked now. It's not this one. The previous time. Ah, Viper and Colossus. Those are good ones. I've always liked that at X2. And I think it's called Tatsu. Those are really good too. Oh, you just got off that one? Or are you still at uh, Six Flags right now? <laughs> That's awesome. I kind of like that they made Colossus steampunk. Not like it had a whole lot of branding anyway. Oh, that's cool, Fairy Do. Yeah, those rides, they just they last forever. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to go check this locked door and see if anything changed. Eh? eh? No, it's still locked. Okay. So what could have completing the Madison Hale name tag do? What might be different? It's not going to be anything down the mazes. Alright. 
<laughs> See ya. Maybe, maybe we need to go to modern times. Anywhere where that guy isn't, I'm cool with. Oh, you're in line for food, you were saying, Spider? Are you getting a funnel cake? Please tell me you're getting a funnel cake. That's my weakness when I go to a theme park. They're so bad for you, but they're so good. Um, and the Wonder Woman's lasso is now a Teen Titan ride. I thought the Wonder Woman ride was like brand new. Maybe I'm thinking of something else that they opened up there. It was another one of those rides that like is like the tallest in the world or something special. Oh wait, I missed this. Here we go. St. Jupiter's Cathedral to close its doors. Ah, the Church of Horrors. See, oh, if I hit this, I can read it properly. Here we go. St. Jupiter's Cathedral is finally closing its doors. After long years of carelessness and lack of people responsible for the institution, the government decided it is time to put an end to its services. According to the reports from residents of the area, St. Jupiter's Cathedral is in a complete state of neglect, and the government's announcement is nothing more than a political move in the face of next month's election. What year is this? 2015. Okay. It is important to reminisce its sadly long list of incidents, among which we highlight. 1947 to 49, the death of 13 workers during the cathedral's construction between 47 and 49. 1951, the confession of Nancy Goring in 1951, who was handed into the police by priest Louis III himself. 1987, a massively disowned public wake of serial killer Madison Hale in 1987. Oh. Okay, so that's why Madison Hale and the um, coffin is there. Okay. 1992, the shooting of the year 1992 in which 10 children and five adults tragically died. That's so bad. And yet you hear like one of those a month now. It's insane. 1995, the suicide of Father George in 1995. And in 2015, St. Jupiter's Cathedral finally closes its doors, which right now we are in 20... We look at this side too. No, we're in 2022, so it's been closed for seven years, which makes sense that it looks like this, huh? So there's no way to go back the way we came from here. <laughs> churros are amazing, fairy dew. I love churros. You know, I don't know if they still make them, and of course it's not the same when they're not warm and soft, but. Uh, not too long ago, we found a bag of, like, Cheetos churro puffs. It looked like the weirdest thing in the world, but they're actually really good. <laughs> okay, so we're back in the Madison Hale time. I feel like I'm missing something here. Is there anything up here? Or am I supposed to, like, interact with this differently? Or maybe I need to take a picture of it. See, that, that gets me a lot. I sometimes forget that. Sometimes the solution is just take a picture of it. We got this haunted camera. Maybe we gotta take a picture of that. See? <laughs> I can go days without doing that. That's like your real interact button. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, there's bones in there. Would a body be like that in... What was it? Like 20 years? 30 years? Is this... Her skull? Ew. The detail they put in these things is awesome. Let's take it. Oh, that door was not there before. That is definitely new. And flavor and texture are very separate parts of good food. And a Cheeto puff but churro flavor and vice versa, very true. Big nugget. I wouldn't even say they have a Cheeto puff like texture. It's different. They're, they're crispy, but it just gives you that nice little bit of snacky churro flavor. And it's, oh, there's something there. There's some light. 
Oh, are we back in the house? I think we might be back in the main house. Where are all these pictures? I love these terrible Photoshop cutout pictures. Like, I was doing better than that in like the 90s in Microsoft Paint. It's amazing. He's about to jump out, isn't he? Oh wait, can't go well for me. <laughs> Cheese soda? That doesn't sound good. We actually have a candy shop not too far away that has a bunch of weird flavored sodas I'm too scared to try. Like bacon soda? Might be good. I don't know. I don't know if I want to consume... 30, 40 grams of sugar to find out. Bricks? Bricks! <laughs> okay. Who wants to make a guess that something is waiting right behind me to scare the crap out of us? In three, two, one. No? All right, okay. I really expected something to be right behind us after this dead end. I can't do anything to the bricks. I mean, they're not going to let me walk all the way down this hallway and through that door, right? <laughs> the Kool-Aid man busts through the bricks. Oh, yeah! Or Macho Man Randy Savage trying to hawk some Slim Jims. You know, I used to like beef sticks, and I just can't get into them anymore. I much prefer beef jerky. <laughs> oh, wonderful! Bricks on this side, too. It's sealed off. Well, I guess we live here now. Eh? What's the definition of insanity? Trying the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. <laughs> but that's exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> kind of taking my time building up the suspense just to find more bricks all these red and white walls make it think of like a creepy clown thing eh? oh brick still keeps closing the door eh? okay there's got to be something up with one of the pictures then right oh wait camera that's right John I always forget when all fails picture No? Maybe we should develop it. Let's see if it's actually bricks. Well, that's definitely bricks. Is there something wrong with one of these paintings? Like, there's a lot of repeated faces. I wonder if one of them is different. Maybe they're trying to draw my attention to a painting. They all look like the same four or five people to me, from what I can tell. What? Now there's no door at all. I was so busy looking at the pictures, I didn't even see when it disappeared. We still have that door. Okay, let's speed this up. No, I think we're just supposed to slowly lose our mind, Hasifa. Oh, nice, you jerk. Oh, and he got me! Oh, man. <laughs> I done got stabbed. Was that supposed to happen? I don't think I could have avoided that. There's no out. Oh, we're still alive. We're still in here. Oh, now I can't even open that door. Now there's like no light at all. Oh, there we go. I think the room might have reset. Oh, I, you're probably right, Coffee. This is probably all the people that got killed in those uh, articles. Can I take a picture of them? Does not help. 
Okay, so there's something I did wrong. It definitely just, like, reset this whole thing, didn't it? And none of these pictures look especially special. <laughs> it's sealed off. Maybe when he pops up, I need to take a picture of him. Maybe that'll stop him. But gosh, I only had like maybe three seconds to react. He got me really quick. I did try to run past him. Yep, still bricks. Unless it's like a timed thing. I was walking really slow just for the ambiance and atmosphere. I might have like overdone my time. Oh, and then it just disappears. What if I develop this photo? Oh, it's just a wall. I know you're going to pop up any second now, dude. Right? Oh, there he is. Oh, no! I got a picture, but I don't think it did anything. <laughs> so I think you just got to run for it. Hmm. And you can't use any inventory items in this room. Let me see if I got that picture. Um, let's pick our inventory. I do have a skull. That picture did not develop very well. It was like pitch darkness. The flash on this camera is absolutely worthless. Wait, would it help if the lights were on? Okay, let me try checking my pictures now. Nope, still looks really dark. Yeah, that was supposed to be a picture of him. Hmm. Could it have to do with the lights above? I wonder if, like, you need to stand under a light Bricks. when it's, like, flickering or when it's on. I'm not sure. Because, see, now that light is flashing. Just that light. All of the other lights are working fine. But the first one is flashing, so it might have something to do with that. Yeah, <laughs> perhaps it's Morse code. It's getting really complicated, isn't it? It's sealed off. Okay, the second round. Now... Both of them are flashing on the ends. Right? Yeah, both the ends are flashing. Okay, so when we do the third round... Yeah, that might be it, Coffee. I just have to stay in the light. Now, how many do we have flashing? Oh, there's a bunch flashing. So it's, it's after the door is gone. That's when we have a problem. Yeah, right now. What? Okay, which lights are not flickering? This one is not flickering right here. I'm gonna stay here. Actually, that one right there is not flickering either. So am I just supposed to stand here? Oh, he's gonna pop up. Okay, I'm under a light again. I should theoretically be safe. Oh, it's a timing thing. When the light is flickering, you can't run underneath it. Maybe that's it. There's no way I'm just supposed to stay here. So it flashes one, two, three, and then it stays on for a while. That. No, it didn't work. I'm here. I'm in the light. You can't get me. Oh, he still got me! <laughs> Dang it! Okay, you definitely need to run all the way back. I think that's all you gotta do is just book it. Just book it. <laughs> here we are trying to plan things out. Is it Morse code? Is it the lighting? Is it the timing? It's none of those, John. Just run like a coward. That's all you gotta do. Follow your natural instinct. I mean, I guess it's not my natural instinct. I haven't been trying to do it, right? Probably click that. Thanks. There we go.
Yeah, just gotta run. Just gotta run. But there's no door over there, so I'm curious what's gonna happen when you're running. <laughs> it's sealed off. Question is, who is this guy? Is this the Madison? <laughs> it's, a, it's a terrible affliction, McNugget. <laughs> you know what's funny is like the first Friday the 13th, they don't even have a Jason Voorhees. Like he's not in the movie as like a character until like the very, very end. But he's not the killer. He's not the main killer. What? The typical hockey mask thing we all associate with Friday the 13th wasn't really a big part of the first one as much. Okay. So when do I book it? When do I book it? Okay, go quick. Okay, now. See ya! Do, 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 do. Look at us go. Oh, the door's back. Oh, 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 oh the man. Attic. The attic. Oh, are we in the attic? We are in the attic. Okay, I recognize this room. This is where we were putting those um, paintings up. That's right. And we finished this puzzle. Was it not till the third movie? Wow, I didn't realize I didn't even bring it in the second one. Okay, there's been this loose board in the floor for a long time, and we've never been able to open this. Can we use the shovel? No. I can't use a hammer either. Dang it. We need another tool for that. And then there's this. Dirtbag statue that follows us around and spooks us. She doesn't kill us. She just spooks us. Can I go back through here? What's over here? It's a bunch of gasoline. What is this? A piece of cloth? Oh, you can go back this way. It's a little closet with all the pictures. That's creepy. Oh, there's one of those things I'm supposed to take a picture of. There we go. Got another red collectible. It's just a, literally a red photograph. That's all it is. <laughs> Maybe McNugget. I'm sure it would appreciate that. Okay, I think that's all that's in here. There was one area when we were in like some sewers and we had like a lighter that gave us the weakest light source possible, but it was better than nothing. Since then, we haven't had that. Looked like there should have been a picture there that I would do that. We're going to have a lot of Photographs to get rid of. Oh, phone's ringing. Hello, who is it? Let's see if I remember how to get to the phone. I think it's around this corner. John? John? Me? This is the fourth time I've tried to call you. Priest Thomas speaking. I was able to finally get the information you asked for, and the truth is... The truth is, I'm worried about your family. Generally speaking, demons try to complete simple rituals to break the bondage of their souls. To carry out this ritual, you must rid yourself of an object with important sentimental value to you. Offer it as a sacrifice. Let me pause him for just one moment. Oh my goodness! Fallen Angels 40 months. That is insane. The big 4 oh. How's it going, Fallen Angels? What have you been up to? What is new? Let me drop some tokens in there for you guys. I have just been scaring my butt off. This game has some really, really effective jump scares. Oh my goodness. But thank you again so much, Fallen. What's new? Where have you been? What is going on in the life of Fallen Angels? Hope you've been well. Okay. But right now, we just are answering a phone call. It's kind of funny they're talking to John. John. Not actually me, of course, but uh, they're trying to get a hold of us, trying to, like, warn us about something. I know, right, Michael? Usually people say I'm the killer. We could we could still be, but it sounds like we're the protagonist, maybe? There were 
practitioners of witchcraft who became haunted as a result of their thievery and dishonesty. They used to steal jewelry from ancient dynasties as to avoid performing the sacrifice directly for themselves with their own sentimental objects. They bought the sacrifice with the emotions of others. But, but this perverse being is trying to go beyond even that. He is speaking of an ancient ritual of which very little is known. Seven sacrifices, seven mutilations. Seven I believe we are facing a, a, a body exchange type of ritual. They want my body? Madison Hale was trying to complete such a ritual before she was murdered. And now she is forcing your child to finish it for her. She is trying to steal your son's body. body Call me ritual? as soon as you get this message. Is that what she's after? So I've kind of forgotten people's names in this game. Is John our father? So we would be the son that's actually carrying out the ritual? Let me see if we have anything in our inventory that kind of helps us figure that out. I don't remember drawing any of these. Am I going insane? Because, no, we're Luca. I think John might be our father. Yeah, I don't have any kind of... Uh, written notes unfortunately to help out with that and forsaken hey welcome back dude <laughs> so let's see there's one room we haven't figured out how to get into yet in this main hallway are there more pictures or is that just me? maybe those are always there I don't remember it's been a while since I've been back this way so there's a few things we haven't figured out yet there's getting into this toilet. We haven't been able to do that yet. Can't use a shovel, can't use the hammer. There's this combination lock we haven't figured out yet as well. And then there's this door. Which there's a lot of clocks in here. If I put my head up to this and listen, you can hear a whole bunch of clocks in there. And you've been good, Fallen Angels? Just really tired from work? I bet. I bet. Hopefully you get a break sometime soon. Are you planning on taking any uh, vacation this summer or anything like that? I've got uh, three more weeks, and I'm going to take a little week-long vacation to go visit my family. And then I'll be back for a week, and then we take a week vacation to go visit my wife's side of the family. So that'll be fun. Yeah, Forsaken. This game definitely has some good scares. It, uh... It lulls you in with the realistic visuals and kind of slower pace, kind of like PT or something. But when it gets spooky, it gets really spooky. I'm not sure if I think it's if it's as scary as Visage. Visage is one of the other scariest games I've played recently. But I'm the same way. Not much gets to me. And even then, it's still mostly jump scares, which are fun, but it's kind of, you know, the cheapest kind of horror, you know? Okay, so I'm just kind of remembering back here all the things I need to get access to. This door, there's the combination lock, which I think is back here. Now, he didn't really give me too many hints. He mostly just gave me exposition for the story. That the uh, Madison Hale was trying to bring about a demon, but failed. And now, it, John's son, which I think is us, is actually the one trying to... Uh, Perform the ritual. Double check and we haven't missed anything back here. Outlast 2 was good too. Yeah, we streamed that one. I really liked Outlast. Both of them actually. I think the first one was maybe a bit scarier. The second one was a much grander game. There was so much more going on in that. With the story and places you visit. And I haven't figured this out yet either. We need some kind of item to put in there. There's actually a bunch of clocks that have that. Yeah, see, we've been in here, and it just says if you need the combination, you know where to find it. And it has a picture of a clock. And I'm not exactly sure what they mean by that. My guess is that combination will be in the clock. 
will be in the clock room, <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, for sure. Um... Oh, did you raid me when we were streaming the first game? Oh, that's awesome, Forsaken. Yeah, that your first time through any scary game is going to be the scariest. And once you've kind of played it enough times, it's just more of a fun mechanical game than it is spooky. And the clock door has a hand pointing to 10. Oh, in the picture. So there's this clock right here, which currently has nothing pointing to 10. But I haven't been able to open it. I wonder if I have to open it when the second hand is on 10. No, that didn't work. I, I swear, though, sometimes when I, like, move away and come back... That clock is at a completely different time, but I don't know how that works. Yeah, see, that's a different time, isn't it? Now it's like 12.30. Let me try that again. Oh, the Fear games! I don't think I ever played Fear 2, but I played the first one, and I really like that one, Michael. Oops. I meant to stay in here for a little bit. You know, there's one classic, I say classic, but like Xbox 360 horror game that I kind of want to revisit on stream sometime. And that's uh, Condemned. Have you guys played that one? Okay, still shows 1230. Okay, so that did not change. And Crypto Meg, how you doing, Crypto? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the follow. I was kind of thinking that too, McNugget, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. At least not consistently from what I can tell. And I thought, ooh, do I need to like press a button in here? Like, can I manipulate the hands myself? But it doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's still 1230, okay. And then back here, there's this clue down here. It gives us part of the combination. We know five left. That's the very final step, but then something to the right. And I can't quite tell what that reads. I thought somebody told me it was six right, but I can't read that. Oh, but it looks like there's a six in the word right. Do you see that? Like R-I-6-H-T kind of looks like that. I don't know if that's what they're going for. Could just be poor handwriting. Blue knees is real. I don't know what the hell that means. You know, where else they might have hidden a clue? I wonder if there's another clock somewhere, Coffee, regarding that time. There was one little stopwatch that's on the couch over here. I remember that right down here. I looked at this, and this says it was 9 o'clock. That doesn't match up with the 10 we saw in that hand picture. Let me double check that. <laughs> really, McNugget? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, nothing will surprise me. Double check this again. And I'm guessing that as the big hand, it could be the second hand as well, pointing to 10. You need the combination, you know where to find it. Is there a clock in here? There's a place to hang something. I'm pretty sure I checked all these. Yeah, we looked at that. he calls the psychic a liar. Nothing in there. It just dance moves. Every once in a while, one of those Area 51 dance moves leaks and it shows up in Fortnite. So, oh, you know what I have not been doing? I'm going to keep calling myself out on this. Pictures, John. Pictures. Maybe I need to take a picture of that door. 
when the second hand hits the 10 rather than try to open the door. Yeah, so let's hang out right here and wait for that second hand to reach 10. Those noises. <laughs> Come on, game. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now. <laughs> Dang it. That was not it. Hmm. Is there something else I need to take a picture of? Really hoping that would be it. Maybe there's a clock over here. <laughs> I know. We gotta be so filthy. A lot of cockroaches coming down here. Oh, what do you want to share, Forsaken? What's up? I think we've done everything in the kitchen. There wasn't really a whole lot to uh, interact with in here. From what I remember. There's a lot of drawers that had nothing. Oh, there's a locked one, though. I forgot all about that. Can we break it open? No. I don't understand how that's locked. It looks like just like thin little chain links on the knobs, and you can just pull those right off. I actually forgot all about that. Oh, that's so cool. Did you make them yourself? Or did you go through like an artist to do that forsaken? That's great, dude. Yeah, unfortunately, the... Um, I believe, I'll have to double check, but the artist that did all my emotes no longer does artwork. I found them through uh, Etsy. So I'm going to have to find somebody new for any further emotes. See, we managed to open this. It's just one of those. Priest Thomas? We looked at this before. I hope you find this useful. This is to John, our father. Please be careful. Remember what we talked about. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I can't take the thing. Oh, that's so cool, Forsaken. It's even better when it's like a friend. Somebody you know. Nice. Once again, another clock that has that thing up there we don't know how to interact with. The statue just disappeared again. And then there was this door down here... And we don't know this combination. Oh, wait. Let's try... How do I do this? There we go. What were the dates? 1951 was an important one. Nope. 19... Was it 83? 87? I don't think it's going to be 2022. I just thought, hey, those are four-digit numbers. Let's try one of those. It must be broken. And then there's this photograph that says 1968. I think I already tried that. And 68 did not work. Oh, true. 2015 is when the church closed be one to try out. I have one of those like infinity scrolling mice where I can just like whip the wheel and it does that. Not pressing anything. My wheel is still spinning on my mouse. <laughs> it's like playing Wheel of Fortune. How long can that go? Not touch anything. That's pretty good. Okay, 2015. Ah, shucks. Not that one either. <laughs> yeah, lock roulette, right? Let it roll long enough, it'll eventually hit. 
That's still blocked off. We don't have all the keys to this yet. Hmm. I might have to look something up. I feel like there's something I've probably just mistaken a picture of, honestly. Gonna unlock the next clue or thing to do. <laughs> it's gotta be something important like that, right, McNugget? There's that statue again. What if I take a picture of the statue while it's chilling here? Anything? She doesn't mind. She probably likes having her picture taken. You know, I, I started to go down this way, but I, I didn't fully explore this recently. Let's cut through here. Make sure there's nothing new. Gosh, it's noisy crawl space. Oh yeah, we can't even go this way anymore. This is where we found the creepy well stuff. But yeah, that's all blocked off now. Okay. Well, at least I know I don't need to come this way anymore. on the ground? No. Must have been a reflection. I could have sworn I saw something light up. Yes. Yeah, Luca draw, drew a red drawer or do door and also boxes that said like different family members body parts. Including our father's head. There is no need to cut off the power. Yeah, when we got in here in the first place, there was no power. It was really dark. What do we do with you, door? It's got to have something to do with these. It can't just be coincidence that there's two holes. Could I... Maybe have to use the mouse wheel? No. That didn't seem to do anything. At least it didn't make a noise. I tried pressing the interact button here, using the mouse wheel, left click, up and down, left, right. Nothing seems to make any interaction. I kind of thought maybe you could control. Did that move though? I don't think it did. The second hand's moving. Well, there is a floorboard we're trying to uh, get to, McNugget. Oh, of course, Forsaken. I mean, we're all in this together, right? It's, Twitch is not easy. Twitch is madness. I don't take it as seriously as I probably could. It's just fun for me. But uh, I know it's hard out there. You know, if you got more than like five people watching you on Twitch, honestly, you're doing great. Because the majority of people have less than that. When they you look at the statistics, it's insane. So yeah, absolutely, dude. Anytime. Happy to help. Yeah, so we got this thing, but I don't have any tools that can open this up. I wonder if I just have to take a picture of it. That didn't seem to do it. What is that noise? Oh, it's the candelabra. I'm pretty sure we're like done done in this room. Besides that thing right there, it doesn't seem to be much else to interact with. Oh, I guess there's this clock. We don't have anything that works with it. Yeah, there's definitely something I'm not getting about that clock room. And what's interesting is I believe some of these puzzles you can do in like different orders. Not that the game's like open world or anything, but uh, I believe it would have been possible to do this earlier than I have. Can I actually interact with these? I get really close. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Arbo. What's up? Why you got to go so quick? 
<laughs> little drive-by hello. You know, when I first found these things, I was under the assumption, since none of the buttons seemed to do anything, if I just, like, listened to it long enough, maybe, like, every second, it would move one of the hands. The hour hand or the minute hand. But that did not seem to be the case. Yeah, see, it says 1230 right now. Oh, scary games. <laughs> I don't quite understand that, though, Arbo, because you do love Resident Evil which is in itself a scary game. Some of those are more scary than others, but it's definitely a horror genre. But you can handle those. <laughs> Let's see, it said like 12.35 last time. Now that hasn't changed. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to look up a clue unless you guys know anything offhand. Mr. X is terrifying doing that. <laughs> to make sure none of my tools work. No. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way I can discern what that says just by staring at it. <laughs> I mean, I had my heart racing a little earlier in this game, but I think that's all part of the fun. I really do. But some people just don't like that feeling, and I totally understand that. Okay, so the locks are right over this way. You know what I think it was? I used to watch a lot of horror movies when I was young. And I kind of became desensitized to them, where the more horrific the movie, the more I like it. I love it when a movie really gets a genuine reaction out of me. I don't really see any clues here that might help us with the uh, combination lock. No. A <laughs> freak of nature. I, I get that. I resemble that remark. You need the combination. You know where to find. Ten. Yeah. Ten sixteen five. <laughs> Where did you get that coffee? <laughs> we know the five left is at the end. Hey, what's up, statue? But where'd you get the ten and sixteen? Wait, did you did you get that from that clue we just looked at? Hold on, let me look at that again. Seems like you guys gathered something I did not. Just from your brain. <laughs> that's not fair. If that's the right answer, I need to know, like, okay, how would you actually do this? I mean, we know there could be a 10 involved because it's pointing there. But... <laughs> nice save. Nice save, Big Nugget. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first time I got to experience Mr. X in Resident Evil 2, which I didn't see him in the original game because you don't actually get to see Mr. X unless you do like a second playthrough under certain circumstances, I think. Do you see that? The time just changed. Right in front of my face. What causes that? Was it because I was trying to open the door? No, that doesn't seem to change it. 
Oh, so the word right on the other page could be 16. That was here. I actually kind of thought on the left-hand side, it kind of looks like a 2. A 2 or 12. I can kind of see like what looks like a 2 to me written there in the scribbles, but it could be just part of the scribble. Okay, let me just kind of look up what can point me in the right direction because I am totally lost. This happens from time to time. <laughs> and I don't think any of us have actually played it. We do know it has to be right, yeah, but the number we don't know. And there's just way too many combinations to kind of brute force our way through that puzzle. Sometimes you can brute force them, but not always. Okay, the trick is to not see anything spoilery. I just want to see the next clue to kind of push us forward. Let's see here. <laughs> it is the way, right? Um, what's crazy is because you can do this in different orders, it's kind of tricky knowing which ones to get. Okay, we did that. Played the first tape. We did the well. We did that thing with all the pictures. Then it talks about that picture puzzle, which we did that. That was a re actually a really cool puzzle. And then it goes into the mazes, which we just did all the mazes. Okay. With the candles. I like how they tell you, go back and forth between the two doors, unable to open them until the ghost appears. Immediately turn around and run the opposite direction. That's what I did not do and got killed like five times trying to figure that out. The very next sentence after that, which is where we're at, it says things get a little confusing from this point on. I think it's talking about the story, though. Okay, so we did the answering machine. Let's see, it says head to grandma and grandpa's room, but grandma and grandpa's bedroom where you put the solar medallions. See, I think we've done some of this. Oh, no, we don't. Do, we haven't done that. Okay, let's double check that room. Did I miss something? Grandma and Grandpa's room was in this hallway. No, it was on this side. statue was right there <laughs> oh definitely get hydrated we nugget you can't fix being awake enough especially if you have stuff to do but you might be able to fix your hydration wait was this always open oh this door i think was might have been closed before no 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 we did this okay so this is new this is what i did not notice coming back in here that's tricky that's really tricky. A basement. Got the basement key. I think there's something else under that plank. And another key? Oh, we have to use something for that key. I don't have anything to use for that. Well, well, hello, statue. You come to watch me fail? Okay, let's go to the basement and see what we get. That was really easy to miss. I don't think that floorboard was always open like that. Maybe it was. Um, wait, did I miss a locked door? No. So once we crawl through there, we should find a locked door. No, Arbo, that statue was not always there. <laughs> that statue is always where you least suspect it. It's been following us around the whole game.
<laughs> Harpo's like, nope, I'm out. Okay, so this door we should be able to open up. The red door. There we go. Nice. Okay, progress. Good, good. What do we got? The crowbar is in the basement. Oh, crap. What the hell is this place? The light went out. Where am I? I just want the crowbar. I said the crowbar is in the basement. I don't have any kind of light source. Ew. I hear something. Oh, there's a light. I can click it. I can kind of move it around. Why would I do that? Oh, there's a safe. Should I be opening the safe? Oh, it teleported me. Hey, crowbar. This is what we need for those loose boards. Nice. Okay, we got that. Oh, no. Give me my light back. Come here. I liked it better with the light down. Oh, oh. What was that? Oh, statue. Hi. You're here. Good. I need help. Hey. Can you keep the light on for me? Good noises. The statue doesn't usually breathe. It follows me around, but it doesn't usually breathe. Am I supposed to walk around it? There's no light in any other direction. I'm just going to shimmy by you, statue. I'm going to pretend like this is the way out. Can't go that way. Oh, no, you know what? When in doubt, take a picture. <laughs> oh, it's back. Oh, the picture doesn't... Um doesn't actually develop. Whenever you take a picture of that evil, you don't actually get anything from it. There's another statue. And another! Crap. Okay, we, we want to take the one that's breathing. I think it's that one. It's definitely that one. I know it's you. <laughs> gotcha! Which one are you just breathing now? Are you wearing headphones, Michael? <laughs> it really helps for this kind of puzzle. This one. Now there's no statues. Oh, just one. I hope I'm doing this correctly. Still breathing. Last one. <laughs> That'll get my heart racing a bit. Just a wee bit. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Game loves its statues. Oh, I'm done. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. It's more of like a metaphysical basement. You can't actually really go down there. You just get teleported to it. <laughs> See, we didn't have these kind of games when I was a kid. She doesn't show in the photos. Somehow, the photos of her... They burn. Yeah, we can't develop them. Um, like, what were the scary games when I was a kid? We didn't even really have scary games when I was a kid, to be honest. Like, I'm trying to think of what was the scariest game in the early 90s. We had... Oh, crap. The light just went out. We had games with, like, horror themes. But nothing I would really consider all that scary. Something's changed. This isn't normal. I don't like it. I just went out of the basement. Look at you climbing up there. Okay, there was two floorboards I could think of. There's the one in our grandparents' room. Oh, the statue's over there. And then there's the one in the attic. 
So let's go ahead and do this one first. Right here. Yeah, like if I played this kind of game when I was like eight years old, I'd probably need psychiatric help. Hey, what do we got? Is this the ring she mentioned in her diary? Okay. Elizabeth and Albert Maxwell. <laughs> oh crap, we're losing it. God. <laughs> My, my eyes, my eyes burn. God. Now, God, I, I need to get out of this fucking house. Now, those symptoms that we keep experiencing, that has to do with, um, oh, what the hell's that? Like a picture of a chair in like a mouth? I don't know what that is. But those weird symptoms that you saw, it has to do with the demon possession. They kind of talked about that earlier. Can I like, I wish there was like a text notebook just to kind of look at prior clues and story bits. Cause yeah, there was this big spiel in the grandparents room about um, the ring and stuff, but I can't remember everything. Yeah, soap in the eyes when you least suspect it. Okay, the other one, the loose foreboard we need the crowbar for is right up here. Oh, I love Dead Space, Michael. I'm really excited to see what they do with the remake. I definitely want to stream that one. I never played Dead Space 2 or 3, but I love the original. I heard 2 is okay. Oh, was that an eye with the chair? Okay. Oh, another cassette. Find this. Do not listen. 1972. Grab it. I mean, how are we not going to listen to this tape? Come on. But what if you found something like that in your house? You know, something that says, just do not watch. Like, would you assume it's cursed? And if you watch it, a ghost is going to come kill you and your family? Or would you leave it alone and never watch it? I think we have to go over here for the tape player. Is that right? I think it was next to the phone. Here we go. All right, do not listen. Let's absolutely listen. What have we got here? I'll end up losing my mind. Grandma? I cannot trust anyone. Saw that. I know I'm not sick, and I know I don't have much time left. The fucking thing. I, I can feel it breathing right behind me. Singing that fucking song. Over and over and over and over. She sounds over really young. this I didn't like that tape at all. Gotta be honest, it's not my favorite jam. Alright. Is Blue Knees behind me? Thank God. So, something about lyrics written on the wall. How's it going, Alex? <laughs> We're just getting creeped out over here. What's up with you, dude? 
see, are those the lyrics? It looks like there's something posted on the wall, but I can't quite read it. I don't think there's anything in the kitchen, really, as far as lyrics. Okay. Well, what did that actually gain us? We've used a crowbar to open both of those things. Do we have the ring in our inventory? We do. We do with the ring. I wonder if there's... Oh, that's right. That The, um... Sounded like the door slammed on me, didn't it? The note that we read in here said that she hid it under something. So it was underneath that floorboard. Okay. But I, I can't think of what I might need to do with the ring. That could be the guy chasing us, or it could be something completely unrelated. I'm not sure. Yeah, we read all this. That's right. It's pretty creepy, Alex. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely pretty scary. Oh, nice, Jade. Are you going to watch some Jurassic Park? The new one or the classic old one? I haven't seen the new Jurassic Park yet. Okay, well, now that we've done all that, I'm still at a loss of what to do with this. So, unfortunately, I don't think I really got any farther. Like, we got some new clues, but nothing that, like, we can use to help us with this particular puzzle. Or getting into the toilet, I don't think. I was that close. Yeah, we can't use the ring there, obviously. And then there's that. Blue knees is real. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of head nod in this game. Is it making any of you guys queasy? We can turn it down a bit if it is. It kind of makes it a little bit more unnerving, I think. But if it's definitely if it's making you guys queasy, I definitely don't want to continue that. Hey, welcome back, DJ. Yeah, we, we always stream on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then Saturdays. But good to see you again. How you been? What's new? How was your weekend? We got a couple new items in this, but uh, not enough to figure out that either the safe puzzle or that door that we haven't been able to get into. God. Every time I look at that stupid clock, I think it's a person waiting for me in the darkness. Ate it. Uh, was there anything else here? I think we looked at this picture already. 1968. Let's see, so you're fine for now, but uh, that's more uncomfortable than usual. Oh, the amount of swaying. Yeah, we could definitely turn that off a little bit. We don't have to turn it completely off, but we can uh, tone it down, I think. I'm under controls. How do I go back? There we go. I think it's under video. Not video. Accessibility. Here we go, head movement. So it's kind of a slider. Let's like drop that in half. Oh, and there's a reduced camera motion. Does that turn it off completely? Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that, that just turns it off completely. So what's the head movement then? Increase or decrease? Okay, so you can keep it on, but just reduce it. Okay, that looks better. Two settings for the same thing, I guess. So we're still kind of figuring out the story, Alex. It's definitely about witchcraft, demonic possession. We're involved. We may have, it seems like our character kind of has amnesia. We may have been involved with murdering our family and butchering them, chopping up into pieces for this kind of ritual, but we're not entirely sure. Right now I'm trying to get into these two safes and it has something to do with that clock. So. I'm going to have to check out the walkthrough again real quick because I do not know how to progress past that. So we got the crowbar. We got the wedding ring.
Hmm. Okay. It seems like this game is randomly changing specific rooms after we find one of those clues. Which is tricky because like I'm just thinking, oh, I need to solve these few puzzles I'm missing. But in reality, I need to like, once we do something new, you have to kind of explore the whole house and find out what changed. Jeez. So yeah, the only things I can think of that I know I need to do is the safes and this door right here. But the walkthrough I'm looking at just to give me some clues. Oh, and the toilet. I haven't done that yet either. Is telling me I need to go all the way back to the beginning. And there's going to be something different in that room where we got the camera. Which I wouldn't have honestly thought to go back here. Yeah. Brand new. Where did these come from? <laughs> so you really just kind of have to explore and like look for what might have changed. Oh, so we need to put something in each one of these, huh? What are you looking for? You want a skull? I guess a skull's option. Wedding ring? Can you put anything there? Crowbar? No, okay, so I think it only takes correct items. But we did have two of them right off the bat. Oh. That's such a cool looking book. I mean, it's terrifying, but it's cool looking. Body, body exchange, exchange ritual. Exchange ritual? I, I need to put an end to this. I have a feeling we're doing this. The sentimental object. Okay, so these are the, the objects I think we need to bring in here. So the ring is a sentimental object. Seven sacrifices. So we brought a head. Two bodies, a guest and a host. Human ashes. So I think we're missing the seven sacrifices and human ashes. But we did get another key. And this is one of those weird triangular keys that we can use for that door at the very beginning, I believe. Oh, we still don't know the combo for that either. So let's go... Was that always there? What was up there? So we can unlock another one of these. Now, is that all? It is! Hey, we've been trying to get in this door forever. What do we got here? This is from Grandma's diary. June 15th, 1972. I hate when Albert spends the night working. Once it gets dark, it's like the world turns upside down. There are creaking noises all over the house. And the house. I know my sight is getting worse, but yesterday I got lost in my own home. And it's not because of my sight. The rooms are moving around. I couldn't even find my own bedroom. We are not safe in here. Not anymore. Not with this thing living among us. June 16th. Albert got mad at me for lighting candles up all over the house. But for some reason, I think the light protects us. We read the other side? Or is that it? Well, that's just the opposite side. It just bleeds through. Okay, so I think that's all that's there. It's like, oh, I want more. Give me more. But yeah, Artemis, I will definitely be hitting you up on that. <laughs> there must be something useful here. Oh, I got a bunch of uh, like breaker switches here. Oh, we did this puzzle before. Hey, got it. So really, you just keep flipping them one at a time until it goes backwards, and then you know, you know you missed one. I go up. That's correct. Down. Nope. Up, up. Down. Yeah. Down. Oh, up, up. Oops. Up, up. Down. Up. Up. Oh. And the last one is going to be down. Dang it. There we go. Oh, 
It's a saw. Hey, we can grab bolt cutters. I know a couple places we can use that, I think. Um, well, I don't really have anything I want to saw in half right now. So, we can come back here. Can I turn it off when I don't need it? No, we're just going to leave it running. Don't do that at home. Waste of power. Be green. <laughs> turn things off when you're not using them. Make sure nothing new is down there. Yes, yeah, I wouldn't even have thought to come back to this room, uh, Artemis. That was crazy. Okay, where was that little chain link fence we can open? Was that in the kitchen? I think it was a kitchen cupboard. Yeah, right up here. Here we go. Oh, it's another one of those secret pictures. Doesn't help us progress in the game, but it's cool nonetheless. Was there anything else we needed the bolt cutters for? Maybe the toilet. Maybe the toilet. Because the toilet had something blocking it on the edges. Yeah, it looks like more chain link stuff. Let's do that. Do not use. Game, you do not know how bad... What's our name? Luca has to piss. Come on. Oh, what is that? Oh, I didn't open it enough. All the way, John. I did not do that. Maybe I did. What is this? Like a big weight? Like just a big stone slab with a handle? The door just closed on me. How many times do I have to tell you there's nobody in this house? Al? I'm done with your bullshit. Albert, listen to me. It's just a book. A fucking book. It's our grandparents. Elizabeth. See? There's no one here. It doesn't exist. It's not real, goddammit. I know. Everything that's happening to me has something to do with it. I just know it. It's a disease, Elizabeth. You are sick for the Lord's sake. I'm not sick. You'll end up losing your mind if you don't cut the crap. That book has nothing to do with your illness. I wish you stopped acting like a child. Stop hiding our stuff and take your goddamn pill. Jeez. Do you think it's normal? Do you think pupils vanish like dust? I'm telling you that that, that fucking thing is what's causing Enough, this for me. Enough, Elizabeth. Stop acting like a ten-year-old and go to bed. Alpha. Everything started the day we brought that fucking book to this house. It's a disease, Elizabeth. If you don't sick. believe me, I will leave this place. Do it. I'm done. And I'm taking Johnny with me. We are hey. not staying hey, hey, here. Hey. Wait a minute. This is... Oh, this is too much. You're paranoid. I'll leave it. It's 4 a.m., Elizabeth. Go back to bed before we wake up Johnny. Come on. We can talk about this. You're gonna regret this. You'll end up all alone. Just you and your stupid fucking clock. Was he in on it? I wonder if there was something that he was doing trying to keep her in this house. Who is it? Oh my gosh. We don't want any. No solicitors. Nobody. Okay. <laughs> it's so creepy. I love it. They talked about clocks, so our grandfather was obsessed with clocks, huh? So we have this big stone block thing. What could we possibly do with this? I'm trying to think of any puzzles or items or something that might be able to use this. Um, 
It's not going to help us with the safes. It's not going to help us with... Well, the chain link thing, fence, or the links that we need to break, we have the bolt cutter for that. Huh. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we could do with that big stone block yet. Maybe we go... Oh, maybe... That couldn't have anything to do with the ritual room, could it? We need, I think, body parts, like seven sacrifices and ashes for that. But we can go take a look. I believe it only lets us put down the items we have to to complete this. So if I try to put that down, no, we can't. Oh, wait. The bolt cutters are gone. Oh, there they are. I just skipped it. Okay. We also still haven't figured out that clue yet. We are looking for a four-digit code. Get in there. We've tried all the dates that we know. None of those seem to help. And we're missing stuff uh, for the clocks. It's like some item you're supposed to put in there. We did finish with the church. That was intense. Um, I felt so dumb, Artemis. I was running around trying to find out where I put that yellow candle in the end of the last stream. Turns out I put it in the safe. <laughs> so I, I missed that for the longest time. It was in one of these. Yeah, that was embarrassing. But we did complete it. That was good. And I got really stumped near the end of the church where you're supposed to go down the hallway back and forth and then run from the monster. I kept thinking it had something to do with the light. Because some of the lights were flickering, some weren't. Or it was like a timing thing. I wasn't sure. But I got killed there many times until I figured, no, just run, John. <laughs> just run the opposite way. It should be your first instinct. That's right. We haven't found a key to open that up yet either. That could be important. We've done everything in here. I can't actually take this thing. We don't need it. We know we have access to a saw. A circular saw if we need to chop something in half, but... I can't think of anything. Balloonies are... Stupid door. Balloonies are real. Then there's... This clue. Which still isn't really helping us. I'm also just trying to think of what other doors... Or puzzles can we interact with? We've got to be able to do something with that big stone block. <laughs> Without fail, it looks like somebody there. I believe the only things I left in the safe is... Uh, those like boxes of pictures, you know, and tapes, like old tapes we've already listened to. Speaking of which, I forgot to grab that other tape. We just put it in there. It's still in the tape player. Yeah, so these clues I can't quite figure out yet. This combination and then another combination down there and something to do with the clocks. We've only found partial solution. Um, Coffee pointed out that that note shows the a big hand pointing to a 10 so we thought oh maybe you need to do something with that door with the clock on it when it's pointed to 10 but I tried opening it I tried taking a picture that didn't do it and then there's the clue in the bathroom with the um, oh what is it partial combination, but that doesn't quite give us enough to do anything. All we have is one code and then 
we know it goes to the right, but that was going to be obvious. And in my inventory... I mean, we could try sawing this block, maybe? There could be something in the block, maybe? I wouldn't have thought that, but... I guess you can't put it past the game. Let's go see if we can saw the block in half. See what's in the cement. That's going to be bad for the saw. <laughs> not like it's ours. We're not trying to keep it in good shape. Nope. Don't have to do the saw. Okay. Yeah, let me just double check, Artemis, what I have in the storage box. Just in case I did put something more important than I intended to there. I'm also going to grab the tape out of the tape player, just so we can get rid of it. Yes, yeah, so we have the sun box, moon box, and those tapes. And if I remember right, these... Oh wait, one of these was locked, wasn't it? I actually forgot about that. I thought we they all, they all just had pictures, but I think maybe one of them was locked. Madison 1234. Oh, this could be part of that ritual thing, huh? Where was the other box? And Luca. Yeah, okay. Actually, yeah, see, there are pictures. That's what it is. You're not actually putting body parts in those things. See, this one I can't actually open. I think you're putting those instead of body parts on this statue over here. I, I think I should open it first. Oh, are they all bleeding out of the eyes? They are. Oh, I missed that. That's a cool detail. Okay, so I have to open this? How do I open it? The saw. The saw, right? Good call. Artemis on what was in the safe. I just kind of figured, you know what, those are just pictures, it was story related, we're done with it. That's one way to get it open. Don't damage the pictures. Oh, you're going all the way through? Good job not destroying everything. These must be Madison's victims. Those are some burnt up photos. That tin did not save the pictures. I mean, if the tin was about to melt, of course the photographs inside would be really hot too. We're just, we're, we're playing right into their hands. They want us to do this ritual. Okay. Then, oh, do I have to do some of the book? No, we looked at the book. Oh, there's writing all over the wall. Oh, there's something trying to get out. There's codes. There's a lot of codes. Take a picture of this. Thought maybe certain codes would show themselves, but no. to find the four digits to open this door. They must be somewhere. Well, yeah, they could be all over this wall. Oh, there's more stuff written over here, too. Wait, was this always on the wall? I think this is new. I don't really want to let that out. Yeah, I don't think they're anywhere in this room. I did not close that. They open. Oh, what's this? 
This was not there before. Tape number three. I'm starting to get the layout of this place. We have to take that one out to put in number three. Don't you hate it in a game when you have like a rotating inventory like this? You can only see one thing at a time. And whatever direction you start rotating is the exact opposite that you should have for the item you want. Like, you're on spot one. The item you want's here. You start with this one and then you rotate through all of them until you get back here. If I had just gone one backwards, I would have found it immediately. <laughs> just, I seem to do that all the time. John, I must stress to you how dangerous these demons See, really this are. This is the priest, I think. I've witnessed a few exorcisms in my time. Not everyone lived to tell the tale. These beings are not alive, and that makes them stronger than us. They entertain themselves with us. They enjoy our fear, causing us pain. They feed off of it. It gives them power, gives them strength. When one of them becomes attached to one of us, it's all but impossible to stop. They play with our bodies and minds. Does this mean that? Until they find what they were that looking that woman for. Is attached to They're the no camera? Longer human. Attached they are to me? Beyond everything we know. John, <laughs> I implore She's you. She's no longer human. Seek help. I'll investigate that woman you told me about. Um, Madison Hale. And I'll get back to you as soon as I find something. Keep all of this information away from your son. Get rid of that camera as soon as you get this message, but please. Please do be careful. If your child has already had contact with this entity, oh no. his life, yours, and your family's are Mom. in jeopardy. Chanel, what have I done? I mean, you were possessed. You couldn't I help yourself. I need to yourself. find a way to end this. Fuck. Oh crap, it's getting worse. Look how bad our hand looks. There goes My the vision. Burns. Uh, horns? Horns? Are we growing horns? I want to look in a mirror. I want to see this. I think I've seen something like this. Oh. In the house. That was in his mind. Okay. Yeah, it's it's his visions that he gets after listening to these. Okay, let's go ahead and put the tapes away. And Opie Kenobi, I love that name. How's it going, Opie? Eh, rub some dirt on it. Makes it all better, right? <laughs> that's all it takes. I mean, that's how we treated things in the 90s when I was a kid. I remember getting some real nasty scrapes and cuts and stuff. And, you know, it feels like everybody's kind of babied now. Like kids and stuff back then. You're just like, ah, walk it off. <laughs> it's like, ah, you probably should have gone to the hospital. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Put some of these back. Right, Opie? That's just kind of how it was. That's just how it was. Okay, let's store that. Store that. I'm going to keep everything else. We still got uh, eight more items. And I, I don't know if I can actually get rid of any of these. I guess I can get rid of photos, but we're just going to take more. So that doesn't really save inventory. I think we're okay with eight. Are you uh, familiar with this game, Opie? Okay, so after starting that, the next thing we need is that four-digit code to get in there. We don't know what that is yet. But now the game knows we're looking for it. Yeah, that's all I've done is break that shovel. <laughs> I feel bad even using it. It's like, oh, that was a waste. I think you had to, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're way more familiar with this than I am. Yeah, where I'm at pretty much is I just open up the toilet. We put all those items for the ritual in that room where we got the camera in the first place. I still haven't figured out how to get into this room. And there's the two safes in that back room over there I haven't figured out yet. And I guess the, the door to uh, unlock uh, that small little one that's got banging going on, I'm still working on that too. 
And there's a couple other random locked doors. I wonder though, what's changed? I don't really have a strong clue of where to go next. So sometimes that just means something in the house has changed. And you just have to kind of explore and look for anything new. Yeah, I definitely don't want to spoil anything. I appreciate it. Yeah, let me look around for something different. And if I don't see anything pop out, then I'll probably need just a hint of where to look for something. We do have the drawing of the horns, that's true. Which, though I do look at over here. There we go, so this is new. Oh, are these my clues of where to go? Because like, this is the last clue I got and it was the chair. And I didn't even think about going back to that chair room. Is this kind of supposed to tell me where to go? I had no idea. I'm just like, oh, cool. We had a vision. All right. So the game has been guiding me better than I thought it was. But horns. Where have we seen horns in this game? I think if there was a painting. Let's explore a little bit. I don't remember anything in the attic, but let's double check. I'm always waiting for something to jump out when I lose control on those scenes. Wait, this moved. Is that always back over there? I think it was. Whoever did all these scribbles on the wall, you know he had a rough math teacher, always telling him to show his work. He showed a lot of work trying to come up with that puzzle. The math one was pretty tricky. I'm not sure how long I was there. Not super long, but uh, what often catches me in this game, OP, is I forget to take a picture of something. Taking a picture always helps so much. And oh my goodness, Elegant Frost, welcome Raiders to Duncania. How are you doing, Frost? How was your stream? Let me give you a shout out real quick. Let's see. There we go. You were playing As Dusk Falls. Oh, that's that new game. That's kind of like um, a Telltale kind of game, sort of, but like still animation, right? It looks pretty neat. What did you think of it so far? I was interested in that one. A lot of people have been saying some cool things because the game actually has like multiplayer, which is very interesting for that kind of game. I don't know exactly how it functions, but that's still a neat idea. Are you enjoying it so far? Would you recommend it? I know it's on Game Pass, so it's easily accessible. <laughs> I appreciate that, Artemis. Y you know what got me the worst, actually, was the... Um, no horns in here was the puzzle with the candles and everything in the church that one I was stuck on a little bit longer than I would have liked just due to my own <laughs> stupidity essentially <laughs> and Stagotron what's up Stag um the voting for the game is rigged but it was fun wait what do you mean by rigged what happens <laughs> does it like try to sway you in one direction so it's like a TV drama, but it does have multiplayer voting and check. I didn't do that, but it's not like it's really trying to stop me. And it's very, oh, I see, rigged because you're the streamer, Frost. That kind of makes sense. Um, but it would be nice if the game could give you the option to make it completely fair in all respects. Um, I don't think I've, did I check back here looking for horns? Yeah, I was already back here, actually. Yeah, we did that. Um, horns, horns, horns. Nothing in the bathroom. I feel like there's like a picture of something that I'm missing. We were in here when we discovered it. Um. 
That's new. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Was that trying to show me something under here or up here? What are you trying to tell me, chair? I don't see anything. Hey, nothing crazy going on with that chair. <laughs> what was the deal with that? That was interesting. And it rarely picked your votes. Aw, Stag, you were just along for the ride. <laughs> Five hours, OP? Oh, man. No, I... I like to try to solve things by myself. But I also realize that my time is valuable and your guys' time is valuable. So I'll kind of go through every option I can think about, maybe twice, and then I'm looking it up. Unless I have somebody that can give me a nice little hint. But yeah, it's not worth my time banging my head on a wall that long for sure. Okay, nothing with horns in here. Oh, that's bizarre, Frost. I wonder how that was actually working. Like, what was the... What was the logic behind how that voting worked? Oh, is this noose always here? I don't remember that noose being there. I don't like it. Um, no horns in here. Horn. You know, I haven't gone back here in a while. Whoa. You can go really fast through that. I thought that was a crawling room. I won't be able to go back. The, the only other room I think I haven't looked at is this area, right? There's no horns here. Okay, I think I need to hint about the horns. <laughs> what, what general area are they trying to get me to go? I have Hasifa. I've been wanting to get one of those games and play it with Andy because she loves escape rooms. But I haven't done it yet. Oh, I kind of hate it when that happens, Frost. Like, you, you hear a character and, like, that just doesn't sound right. Why did you pick that actor? Okay. This is just the creepy chair room now, huh? We got chairs falling, we got chairs sliding. Okay, opposite of the attic, which could be two different ways. This goes behind the attic. Here's the area right behind the entrance to the attic. I guess opposite of the attic could also be the basement. That might make more sense, actually. <laughs> oh, I guess I didn't run down this way, did I? Okay, the game's getting much more interactive as we're going further into this. Okay, not basement. Okay, so then I, I imagine opposite of attic is just going to be across from the attic entrance, which was here. Horns! How did I forget this cool guy? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've walked by him a hundred times. I probably spent like five minutes trying to interact with them and take pictures. Nothing happened before. You know what? I bet the flashing lights, that might be new too. Boom! Gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, there's like a number or a letter. One. Oh, wait, was that only the first horn? No. No. Oh, crap. No. no. no not again. No. Fuck. It's not doing good. I, I can't feel my fingers. Oh, what and... What is happening to my body? Sorry, I was in the middle of saying something, and it just totally s spaced my mind. Jelly Bean Sammy. Thank you so much for the follow. Sorry for being a jerk and just not recognizing that. How you doing? Welcome. Okay, so the card is important. Uh, oh, we got a new I one though. What this could mean. The red light bulb. There was a red light, but everything was dark. There was a clock right next to there. It was actually down this hallway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes I uh, get distracted and don't pick up where I should. I'm very scatterbrained when I stream. Apologies. See, I think 
It's the stupid clock that always looks like a person in this red light that I see. Right there is the red light. Every time I see that clock in the distance, it looks like there's a person with hands being held out or something. Just the way the shadows hit it. That's what you want me to take a picture of? No. Or maybe the clock itself. Oh, I got an achievement. No more smiles, please. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Did I just take so many pictures the game is sick of me taking pictures? They really did. Let's see. And can you make all the lights red? At least where I can make lights red. Hmm. I can't remember where that might be. Jeez. <laughs> These noises. He kind of gave me a clue, too, when I looked at it. I can't get him to read that again. Yeah, honestly, the graphics in this game are really good. Um, for everybody that's familiar with this game and likes it, have you all played Visage? I find this game is very similar to that, in like a lot of good ways, and how creepy it is and everything. A red light or a light that we can make red so he said I have seen this before but when it was all dark hmm. when we first came into this house it was all dark we had to come in here ah, and turn that off yeah because everything was dark before we had to uh Kill that. And that, now I'm remembering, yeah, everything was red when the lights were out. So, now do I... Oh, crap. The doorbell. Wait, doorbell. I, I gotta get to the front door. Where's the front door? I actually don't know which way is the front door, to be honest. <laughs> this house is a mess. Probably not that way. It sounds like it's coming from this way. The kitchen's over there. The front door might not be far from the kitchen. Keep bringing. Oh, it's getting louder. I think it's this way. Oh, that's where the safe is. Gosh, it's so dark. Give me a flashlight for the love of God. Wait. Was the front door past this hallway? Well, we can't go this way anymore. <laughs> Dang it. Coliseum, how's it going, dude? Welcome. Same, Visage was so creepy. Although I still think the scariest game I've played was when I first played Resident Evil 7. This isn't the front door, right? No, we need a combo for that. It was when I played Resident Evil 7 in VR. VR game, VR takes horror games to like another level. This, there's just a safe in here. This pizza guy is so patient with me. I'm trying to find that door. Alright, here's the kitchen. There was no doors near the kitchen, right? It sounds like it's coming from this direction. Bedroom? Bathroom? Basement? Not that way. That's not the front door. Oh, is it down this hallway? There's two locked doors down here. This is way too dark. You don't expect me to go this way, do you, game? This is the worst designed house in the world. Could you imagine if your front door, you had to walk through all of that just to get to the kitchen and living room and stuff? Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> Wait, something just popped up on the screen at the bottom. What was that? I don't like the red lights either. <laughs> the red lights are very... Just... I don't know. Very ominous. Very ominous. 
Unfortunately, the police were notified if it is still unknown if she was under the influence of any drugs. I think there's a radio I should be listening to. Oh, here we go. <laughs> She's playing with my mind. Suggesting the latter. There is no escape. Containing strange symbols, candles, dead animals, and one of the more macabre details, photographs of the dismembered limbs of her victims. This reminds me of PT. Apparently, the woman photographed the corpses while mutilating them. It is still unclear whether the photos were part of the rites she was carrying out or if she simply took the photos to immortalize the events. I mean, Pixar didn't happen, right? I understand According that. to official sources, the 43-year-old woman, Madison Hale, intended on murdering seven people. Fortunately, the police were notified... Hey, which floor are we going to? Putting an end to the massacre after the fourth victim. I don't know what floor we're on. One? She was under the influence of any drugs. We're not getting out of here. This is not actually happening. <laughs> this is all in our mind. And JF Fam or J Fabulous. Hey, welcome, dude. Thank you for the follow. We were on the ground. Okay, thank you. I'll give you a clue, Luca. That's the floor you're on. Never mind. <laughs> It's like we just went to floor one, I see a one. Obviously it means you're on floor one, right? No, there's a four. And there's a three. <laughs> and there's a two. Okay, never mind. That means nothing. Vincent Pattison the third died in 47. That was before the Madison thing, I think. Are these all the people that were killed in these rituals? I think it happened in the 51? Is that right? Ellen McKenzie buried at sea? PT was so good. I really wish that they would have some way of still playing it today easily. You can get the PC version, but it's not quite the original. You know, it's close, but not quite. Same Coliseum. PT would have been just a masterpiece, it seemed like. Robert Hale. Madison Hale. Can't grab it. Okay. Oh, 1987. Maybe that's going to be the code for the lock in uh, the house. Yes, Artemis. I think we definitely need that. Angie Watson. Jackson Patterson. And Evan Grayson. Well, they all have different death dates. They're not all part of the same ritual murders. What do those numbers represent? We'll have to check out another floor. This is probably going to be another puzzle reminiscent of those candles or something. Kind of more complicated. I think, Jelly Bean, this game's only been out for maybe a month? Maybe a little bit less than a month. It's fairly recent. Got the flashing. Can't see anything. Okay, that says two. There's a one. Oh, thank goodness, lights. Okay, this one has multiple holes to look through. Judith Hale. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to see all the different people buried in the walls. Oh, Dexter, does the thing change? I kind of stopped listening to it a while ago because I assumed it's like on the loop. So the first floor only had one hole to look through, I believe. This one has three. The second victim was her 71-year-old mother. According to police reports, Madison amputated both of her legs while she was still alive. The woman passed away. Okay, so it's second victim, but number two later, points this Madison way. Continued to mutilate her body before disposing of it. Is it one recording per floor? The second victim was okay. her 71-year-old mother. Let's go back to one. According to police reports, Madison amputated both of her legs while so, she was still alive. Our clue for number two is 71-year-old mother. Who was the first victim? 
75 year old father so the way I think this puzzle works which I'm pretty early <laughs> I might not be correct I need to find on one of these floors where the one points to 75 year old father That's not one, so that's not going to be it at all. Now, I'm not sure how I interact with them or know that it's the first one, but let's try to find that. See, I picked up on that way quicker than I did the candle puzzle. I don't know why, but that candle puzzle, I was... Oh, why? I was doing the wrong thing for a long time in that one. That was pretty... Oh, no, it's broken! Not when it's, like, right there below me. Oh, thank goodness. You know what I think helped Opie is because I just did the candle puzzle, so now I'm in the mindset of how this game might create future puzzles. Okay, let me listen to this. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object. I write these down. The young man died instantly. First was 75 father, second 73 grandmother, third 27 year old man. Let's see where one is pointed in this room. Maybe I can break the wall with something. Well, we do have a hammer. Okay, so this would be one, maybe. We have to see what's in there. That is not the correct one. That is 27. So this should be the third victim. Oh, can I rotate this? Can I rotate this so that says three? I feel like I should be able to move this because that's going to be the third victim. He's 27. Hmm. Is there like a trick to this? Can I, if I take a picture, does it move? No. Let me see what else we got. Hmm, is that the right age? Oh no, I've been keeping almost everything OP, which is dangerous because I could easily run out of items. And Sammy, the jump scares in this game are really effective. <laughs> Okay, so Alfred Miller is math time. That's not the correct age. That is not 73 or 75. Okay, so, whoops, I don't think that's one of them. What's in this one? Nothing. That one's just empty. This would be a good spot for a jump scare. Just saying. It maybe be a little cheap, but... Okay, let's go to four. I'm just waiting for the next jump scare. No, nothing. Okay. The final victim was a 35-year-old woman. Madison stabbed her at her own front door. Neighbors witnessed her dragging 35 the house for the final victim. The, the woman's body was found unrecognizable in more than 30 mm, pieces. That doesn't match any of the ages either. The final victim was a 35-year-old woman. Two. Hammer time. I can't read that. We have to be able, be able to use the name. Ah, oh, they don't say the names though. Oh. That could be the last one. Okay, we have one more floor. So that was the final victim. I'm surprised I wasn't on the final floor. Dexter. Edison's a jerk. Straight up jerk. You trying to say, 
I'm the victim? I don't like this. I hate it, thanks. That one's empty. Oh, this is where you rotate them. Is that right? There are no numbers on this one. Let's be rotated or changed? Gosh, I feel like they're going to put... Oh, that's terrifying. Come on. <laughs> There's the noose and the chair. What's going to be behind me? Oh, okay, nothing. Okay, so do we need to use our camera for this? No. I thought maybe I could adjust this or something to move the other ones. Oh, this might be a hint. There's like a hole on each one of these. Like, floor one is that. Floor two is back. I'm not sure what that means. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. There's four of them. There's four floors we care about. Hmm. <laughs> I have to keep the suspense up, Sammy. <laughs> So that could be a clue. So the the bottom one is left. Let's go check that out. First floor. No, you. <laughs> Dang it! I need to step. Oh, there's a um a picture there. Hold on, I gotta get that real quick. Oh, I didn't think about that, Michael. That might actually do something. Um, before we do that, I want to try to get a picture of a secret photograph on the wall. They have these red ones that are kind of like a bone. I always get stuck right here. Okay, I think it was between floors four and five. Right. Oh, I missed it. The jump scare slowed me down. <laughs> Let's just go down one floor. The final victim was a 35-year-old woman. Madison stabbed her at her own front door. There we go. Neighbors witnessed her drag her body into the house and notified the police. Oh no, I went too soon. We were so close. Got it. Okay, good. I've only found six. I'm sure I've missed quite a few of these. So the first floor, that symbol was pointing to the left. <laughs> Tower of Terror. You know, I love Tower of Terror at Disneyland. Son of a... And then they changed it to... What is it called? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I forget the name of the ride, but it has to do with that. It's still really fun, but I I do think I prefer just the vibe of Tower of Terror. Okay, so this one, for floor one, I assume was pointed over here. I wonder if I have to take a picture in a certain order. How old is this one, though? It's not 73. It said the first victim was 73. Something happened good. I do want to do that as well, Opie. I do need to go back to the fifth floor because I don't remember the next step in the puzzle. <laughs> Is that correct, though? I was following the holes on that pillar on the fifth floor. I wasn't really following. I wasn't really following the radio voice.
This could be like the last picture, actually. Oh, we don't get anything. Oh, you get to see the flash, though. That's kind of clever. Okay, so what's confusing is the second pillar, it's facing that. I mean, I guess we could take a picture of the elevator on floor two. I feel like that first one was correct because of the reaction the game gave me. <laughs> At some point, I don't think he's trying to hurt us. He just wants to scare us. It does say two. Well, that doesn't do anything. Okay. So that's probably not it. Seventy-one-year-old mother. I can't even tell how old this person is. Did I get the first one? No, thank you. <laughs> Yoink! I'll be taking that from you. Um, did I get that first one right? I feel like I did, but it, I was going based on that, you know, the pillar in the fifth floor. I feel like I should be listening to them more than anything. Okay, so first victim, 73-year-old grandfather. Anywhere near 73. I think that's the third victim. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object. What is that? 80... The young man died instantly. 82 years old? Nobody's been 82 years old in any of these. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. Let's try four. I don't remember looking at the dates on four. His body was dismembered as well. Not 73. I can't tell, but not 73 based on the date, because there's not 70 years from 1950 to 19 whatever. Oh, we have one to break. I missed this. What just happened? There's a creepy noise, but nothing like changed. What was that trying to tell me? Oh, maybe I need to be looking at these. That's 72 years old. I believe he's 73 though, right? First victim? Is that 73? No, they can't be, because these people died before Madison was even around. So it's not some of those. I think it's just going to be the ones in the walls here. Okay, now I'm a little lost. I thought I had it. And I thought it had to do with this. On floor five, the pillar in the center. You, 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 you. 
Okay, so you do have to do one on each floor. So actually, I think you had a good idea there, Michael. We want to do the last one. Is going to be the mirror, I bet. So we want to go to floor two. <laughs> Sammy, when I play Resident Evil 7 in VR, same way. Usually horror doesn't really affect me that much, but I definitely... I definitely creeped my way through that game. Okay, this is a 71-year-old grandmother. So it's probably this one because we have no date. And she died in 87. I'm assuming that's what that date is. Okay. I think I made the puzzle more complicated than it needed to be. <laughs> Artemis, I was like, okay, how do I mix these floors up and find the right age? It didn't, it didn't even tell me the age there. I know this guy's 27 right here. There we go. Oh, and that rotates to three. Oh, okay, see, I was trying to rotate that in the beginning, but it rotates correctly after you take the picture. I really wish I would have done these one at a time as I was exploring. Nope. Died the wrong year. That could be it. 2001. There was a creepy noise when we did that. I think it's this one. There we go. Number four. Look at all these empty things, too. I wonder if these are going to fill up. You. 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 <laughs> so we have to look forward to. That's really effective. I actually like that a lot. Oh no! You don't do it there. Okay. Is our name in one of these? No. You, you, you. I mean, these are empty ones here. I guess it could be either of these. You, no. You, 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 you. Oh, they're all lined up except for one of these. I think I missed one of these. Did I skip the first floor? I kind of thought I did the first floor by accident. Maybe I was mistaken. <laughs> Just that fourth wall breaking thing, Sammy, when he starts talking directly to us is very creepy. Jump scare. No? No. No jump scares that round, wow. It's that one. There we go. Oh, it starts saying you way down here. Wow. I'm pretty sure he's going to jump out. So let's be nice and close when it happens. Come on, elevator. You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. You. I guess they're done jumping out at us. <laughs> like, wait for it. 
Now I think this. Yes. It's a good idea. Nice job, Michael. Oh, we got another number. So we had a one and a seven. This probably has to do with the combo. And they're red. One of those safes is red, remember? Oh, does that open the clock room? Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> go, go, go. I mean, I knew we weren't getting out of here. There it is. <laughs> there it is. It's like I knew that was coming. Oh, what a cool game. So actually, we might have enough to open up the red safe, and we have the thing to the clock room. Okay, you can stop now. Thank you. Gosh, it's all so dark. Um, why am I whispering? We need to go turn the power back on. That's definitely the most important thing right now. I don't think there's any reason to keep the lights red. That was actually a pretty clever puzzle about what makes the lights red. It's like, can you remember back to the beginning of the game when everything was red? Because of the power? I couldn't. <laughs> but thank you guys for the help. Let there be a light! Nice. Okay, now, since we're right about to enter something new, this is actually probably a perfect stopping point, because unfortunately I do have work in the morning. Lame, I know. But we will continue this on Thursday. Same time, 7 p.m. Pacific time. I cannot wait to see more of this, but I should probably get some sleep. So I don't think there's any, like, actual save option or anything. Aurora, thank you so much for the follow. Good to see you. So I think you just quit, and the game kind of automatically saves itself, right? I know, Sammy, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, every other week, I, I work a weird work schedule. I get a, uh, a Friday off. So when I stream on that Thursday, I actually get to stay up pretty late, but Tuesdays, Always about three hours. Stupid work. <laughs> thank you, Artemis, and thank you for the help. I was definitely getting a little bit mixed up there, but we made it through, made some more progress. And after we got the key, we got an auto save. That's probably right. Yeah, as soon as you get anything that causes a reaction and noises and everything, you probably get an auto save. I know a cliffhanger ain't, but the good thing about this kind of an ending, Michael, is that we know exactly what we need to do next. The worst thing, the worst place to stop a stream is in the middle of a puzzle and you don't really know what to do because then when I jump back in I always feel so lost and I spend half the stream just trying to, trying to keep up where I'm at but now we got some numbers for the safe we have the key to the clock room we can kind of hit the ground running so my guess and let me know for you guys that know the game better than me I'm assuming we probably have about one more stream of this game to go when I loaded the game up it said we were 40 percent done so my guess is now we're probably more like 60, 70 percent done or so. So maybe one more stream and we'll wrap this one up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully we're not like 30 minutes from beating it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to think of another game to stream right after that because I'm not going to stream for 30 minutes and wrap it up. What a cool game, though. Oh, can't wait to see more of that. What is going to happen to Luca? Yeah, see, like if I click story, load game. 82%. Okay, so yeah, I think we'll definitely beat that in the next stream if we're currently only like 18% away from the ending. Of course, I could get stuck and that 18% could take me the entire stream. <laughs> you never know.